So I've had these for a little while now and I wanted to give you guys a follow-up video on what I think about the Nike Vapor Max after wearing this sneaker a whole bunch. What is going on guys? This is Hess from CollectiveKicks.com and I wanted to bring you guys a follow-up video on the Vapor Max and let you guys know my thoughts on the shoe after wearing these a bunch. And hopefully you guys will find this video informative and if you guys want me to do this video more often after um, technology like this comes out, please leave a comment, let me know. I get, I can definitely do a follow-up to some of the boost shoes or whatever else that you guys want to see uh, on the market. So, but this is, this is a shoe that I really wore quite a bit. As you can see from the soles, I wore these outside a ton and I definitely got these things a bit dirty as you can see on the toe box of the shoe and on the back section of the shoe. I wore these quite a bit. So I wanted to give you guys my final thoughts on the Vapor Max since I know some of you guys are going to be on the market more pairs are going to be coming available, more colorways are available. So first things first, I'll start with the things that I like about the Vapor Max. The Flyknit upper is definitely really dope. I like the fact that they have perforation on the toe box. You can definitely feel the ventilation on the toe box area of the shoes. The materials are definitely nice on the shoe and they did a very good job engineering the way this was made. How they have the Hyperfuse on the heel cup of the Vapor Max and it comes all the way down across here adds a lot to the shoe. Then you have the Hyperfuse across the toe box as well, which is also really great. Adds a lot of durability to the shoe and helps keep some of the structure as well. I like the fact that this is a shoe that is okay to wear even if you have wider feet and it's not near as narrow as the Flyknit Racer, which I mentioned in my review also. Probably the biggest win for me on this shoe though is the tongue. The fact that it's an attached, detached tongue. And what I mean by that is this, you could see that the tongue is attached from this part down but this is the only part that is detached and I like the fact that that is detached because it makes this area much more wide but it holds the shoe in place because of the tongue being attached uh, from this part down. So love that feature on the shoe. I hope Nike utilizes that much more in the future because this is definitely my preferred type of sneaker where it can fit snug on your foot and you have also the flexibility of that loose tongue. So the overall upper and the aesthetics I really love about the shoe but Getting into the part that you guys probably want to hear more about is the sole and it's is this a dope sole or not? It's definitely a different sole and it's a different type of comfort. So if you come into buying the Vapor Max and you're trying to compare these to Ultra Boost right from the beginning, it's not going to be the same. They're just totally different technologies. If you get these and you compare them to the Air Max like 2015, 16, 17, it's not quite the same either. It's like it's hard to describe the comfort that you get from this shoe, but it's different than anything you've ever worn. And I like the fact that it's different. The heel toe transition is definitely different on these than anything you have ever worn. And it's good and it's a little bit bad at the same time. And I'll get into that in the con section of the video. So definitely the more I wear them, the more comfortable they are to myself. You can just get used to the overall fit of the shoe as you wear them more because they are so different. You're not used to having that type of transition on your feet, at least for me. So I like the fact that it is different and it, it, it did take some getting used to at first, but at the end of the day, it's definitely a shoe that I will still continue to wear quite a bit. So what do I not like about the Vapor Max? This is a part that you guys are probably waiting to hear. There's a couple of things I don't like about the Vapor Max. One is I love the fact that it looks crazy, but when you walk on certain floors, these are just crazy squeaky. I don't know if that's something that bothers you guys or not, but for me, like if I'm at work and I'm walking to the kitchen to get a cup of coffee, I don't want everybody to hear every single step of, of the way on my feet. It draws unwanted attraction to my feet. And then they see they're like brand new and then it's like, why are those so loud? And they're really, really loud. And, and depending on the flooring that you're on, it's just, it's kind of unacceptable almost how unbearably loud they are. Also like even on cement, walking on cement like to the park with my kid, they're just really loud. The transition from heel to toe is clunky sounding. On the flip side of that though, there are other models that are really squeaky that are on the market. Ultra Boost being one of them, they're very loud also. So the, the Vapor Max isn't the only one that has that problem, but it's definitely the squeakiest out of all of them that I have. So the other thing I don't really love about the Vapor Max, and it's just something that I'm, I'm still getting used to, but overall it's the heel toe transition. It's just, if I had to describe it in one word, it, it would be clunky. When you go from your heel strike to your toe, and this is just from walking, not running, heel to toe, it just, it's so segmented when you walk. It's like, 
like this is what it feels like because of the different segments of the bottom. As you go from here to here like this, it, you could feel it like this every single step of the way. You feel it transitioning from one air unit to the next and it is significant. There's so much air in here that it is really, really crazy how squishy it is every single step. It almost feels like you have a flat tire when you have these on your feet and when you're actually walking in them because when you step on the back of the heel, you literally drop all the way down to the bottom of the Vapor Max. It's, it's insane how much give is in the air unit. And immediately I'm thinking there's no way you could actually run in the Vapor Max because of how far it drops. Maybe it's just because I'm a heavier set dude and it causes the air unit to collapse further than it normally would if you were a light a lightweight, but but it does. It almost feels like a flat tire to me, which is definitely an odd sensation when you're stepping in this massive air unit. Again, ultimately you just get used to the sensation and the feeling from the heel-toe transition, and it, it ends up being pretty comfortable after you wear them more and get used to that new style of sensation on your feet. But other than that, that is my two cents on the Vapor Max and my final thoughts. What are your guys' thoughts? If you've tried them, leave some comments, let people know what you like or dislike about the shoe. If you still haven't tried the shoes yet, leave a comment why you haven't tried them. Is it the price point? Is it the availability? Is it uh, the fact that you just don't like the, the overall look of the shoe or whatever it might be? Be honest in the comment section, it's always fun to see. And that is the end of the video. Again, if you guys wanna see more videos like this, please leave a comment, let me know. And if you guys like the video, hit the thumbs up button. Appreciate y'all for watching the channel. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Check out the playlist on the screen right over here for my top five uh, videos. And uh, you can go see what you guys have been missing. Have a good one. We'll catch you guys for some more videos soon. Peace, guys.